Back to the coverage here inside the Inada Center. UAP Season 82 Men's Basketball Tournament. First round matchup between UST and FEU. And the start of the second quarter here. Story of the first quarter. Hot shooting coming from uh, the F. So, regalo pala to, if ever. <laughs> Manalo ang uh, FEU dito for Sir Mark. As Ando, no good again on the mid range shot. Chabio couldn't secure it. Here is Comboy running the other way. Good Bounce pass. pass to Alforque, yes. who finishes on the break. What a fake, Skaka Ibang move, courtesy of Royce Alforque. Well run transition offense right there. Well timed pass from Wendel Comboy and a good finish from Royce Alforque. Comboy again, just so dangerous in transition. Chabio. Zaki Wang here facing up against Comboy. Wang makes his move, kicks it out. Subido, the extra pass. And Abando yeah, knocks it down. Abando. First triple of the game here drained by the USD Growling Tigers. That, that's exactly what USD needs right now. Possibly, possibly a momentum, sh momentum shifting three from Renz Abando off good ball movement from USD. I fork it. Sending this one out to Stockton. Stockton working against Abando and a dribbling LA violation LA called against Alec LA here. So a stop no, no, for USD. This could Abando. be the window that they've been looking for in this game to come back, Enzo, and create an uprising. That's true. As you look at this move by Stockton, it, this is his favorite move, going from one direction to the other. But the thing is that left hand, he just lifted the ball a little bit. But as you can see there, my Conting Papigay. <laughs> And I, yeah. if you're Coach Alden Ayo, understandably, you're pretty upset yeah. because, you know, there was no call, but there was, it happened after the call na kasi. A sorry miss right there for Bienes. As Paraiso backs down against Stockton on the other side. Chabio puts it on the floor. The spin, the shot by Chabio. Counted so by foul for Solimane. And Coach Olsen and just lived it on the base, on the sidelines because the defensive rotation should have happened a lot earlier. Stockton should have rotated on Chabio instead. He was late, and there was a foul, and then a basket for Chabio, a chance to cut. Alforque, double team trapped. Vienes with a catch back to Alforque, who will reset the offense for the Tamaraus. Stockton driving against Guajau, good fake. Stockton, the up and under off the glass and in. I thought that was actually a pretty good defensive sequence from uh, USD. Our Jollibee, 100% the amazing move off the quarter from Alex Stockton. A credit to Stockton, like what you said, Marty. Great patience mm. from his end. Even if the shot clock was winding down already, he had enough composure to drive to the basket, stop on a dime, still hit the shot. Paraiso for three. He drops it in. Paraiso three. And that's the second triple, if I'm not mistaken, right now already. First one came from Renza Bando. And that's what Paraiso is there for. Yeah. Martin, I mean, we talked about it pregame. He's a 3 and D guy. As we see this good pass from Patalier. And Brent Paraiso firing, dropping it in, and making it a two possession game. Our McDonald's instant replay. Like what they've been doing so far in this game, and credit to how he switched his defense from a half-court uh, defensive set into a full-court trap. That has really, you know, done wonders for them here in this quarter. Brent Paraiso and USD starting to click from the outside. The trap, the kick out to Paraiso. He's got five seconds to work with. Brent needs to put one up. Paraiso feeding Batalier, but not enough time to get a shot off. Let's see. But I think the ref might have called a foul. I'm not sure if the call was in time, actually. Paraiso with a drive here in a dish to Patalier. Uh, this was the initial contact yes. from LJ Gonzalez. And he's contending that his, you know, he had his hands. Who was initially called for the foul. Pienes sending this one to Gonzalez. Gonzalez LJ knocks down Gonzalez, the triple. Three. And in that sequence, FEU broke down the full court trap quite well. Yeah. Leading to that open shot. Good ball rotation leading with the LJ Gonzalez. Step in three. Eight point lead again for the green and gold. What a way to put out the fire for LJ Gonzalez and the rest of the FEU Tamaraus. And here they come on the attack again. Comboy, Torres, the shooter. Drops oh, that one in from the corner. Oh, and that, 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 that shot. Hydration checkpoint here in the second frame. Halfway done. 
Mark Nonoy. Good but fake. Fake step back jumper. It's good for Whoa. Mark Nonoy. Wow. That's a huge. Big shots here in the second quarter. Latest one was off this highlight step back jumper coming from Mark Nonoy. And that three pointer cuts the lead down to eight again. One more look for this spectacular finish by Mark Nonoy. And you gotta love Coach Olsen. Sinasa pa yung yung close out. And this is why this is such a good matchup. Mark Nonoy and LJ Gonzalez. Yes. Of course, Gonzalez in the high school ranks before was called the Westbrook of the UAP <laughs> Juniors. Man. He was so good in the Juniors division. And he's gonna continue to be even better as he grows into the FEU system with the seniors. That's right. But this is yet another turnover, Enzo, Man. for the FEU Tamaraus. That is nine turnovers now for the green and gold. And if you see, the, our audience can't see Coach Olsen right now, but he's definitely not smiling yeah. on the sidelines. And this will leave the door wide open yes. for USD to come back. Nonoy, oh, mishandling. Oh, there's a foul. Ooh, Backing a forward. backward violation, yes. rather, called against Mark Nonoy. Good hustle coming from LJ Gonzalez. But I think LJ tapped the ball, but before it, you know, before it got over the line, we'll see here. It's actually Nonoy with the last touch. Yeah. Oh, off yeah, his no. foot. It was off his left foot, rather. Correct. So that was the right call coming from our official. Good call from the ref. A good pressure defense from Gonzalez right there in that sequence. Torres, another three-pointer. That is off. Rebound going out. And ball goes back to USD side of yeah, it's, a, it's a combination of those turnovers by FEU and free throws by USD, leaving the door open, like yeah. you said, That's right. for the Growling Tigers. And now we have a five-point game again, closest that USD has been in here in the first half. And that's a miss. Apando with the rebound. Apando is pushing. Sending it to the corner. Nonoy fires. Short. Ando with the rebound. Another attempt for Nonoy. This there you time go. He drops oh, it in. Oh, it's very Mark Nonoy has been leading the charge. The roar here for USD. Nine to nothing run to cut the lead to two, Enzo. Well, Nonoy, nine points scored now in the seventh quarter, leading his team. They've actually upped their shooting percentage already. They've hit all four, yeah. or all four of their threes for USD have come in this quarter. A big reason why they've trimmed that lead down to only two points. Will be uh, very interesting how the Tamaraos will respond. Tuffin missing from the corner. Cancino. Getting it quickly to Mark Nonoy. Back to CJ. On top here to Batalier. Who looks for options. Might be a good idea to get it to Chabio. Chabio, mid-range jumper, short. And Alforque secures the board. I thought that was too much space given yeah. again by Chuente to Chabio. Lucky for them, Chabio could not sink that shot. For Losing possession. Good defense by USD. Let's see what they do in transition. Cancino, the find. Sobido, the finish. Sobido. Good find. CJ Cancino, great thread the needle pass. Good finish also on the reverse by Renzo Sobido. And momentum has really permanently swung USD's way right here to end the first half, Martin. It is still close game season here in season 82. First deadlock of the game at 34 all. Kani overshooting that one and USD with a chance to take the lead for the first time oh Cancino called for the walk so a missed Coach opportunity CJ. for the growling Tigers Ray Coach Al did not happy with CJ, CJ Cancino's decision making boy. in that Sherwin transition sequence and that's, that's where the maturity process LJ comes Gonzalez in for players for like CJ Cancino for you know for veterans they probably make a better decision than yeah. go straight into the defense barreling into the heart of the defense in that kind of sequence. And that's why Coach Aldenayo just not happy with how that fast break play transpired for USD. That's right. They didn't have the numbers in that sequence. It is a 20 to 10 quarter, by the way. And that is in favor of USD. Gonzalez will face Subido. He's got eight seconds to shoot. Oh, there that is go. a jumper to put out the fire coming from LJ Gonzalez. Field, averaging only 8.3 points per game this season, but he's already surpassed that. Yeah. And we still have one whole half to play, Martin. That's right. Long two-pointer earlier from LJ Gonzalez, making it 36-34. Concepcion, missing from downtown. LJ again, back the other way. Five seconds to work with. Gonzalez pull up jumper, oh, that's good! LJ Gonzalez! Oh, LJ Gonzalez. 
Hitting the last shot off the They put FDU in front of here by 5, 39-34.